so <clears throat> whatever we discussed uh, that day it was about how cases will be created and uh, uh, that was all about the creation of the cases in salesforce how how many various channels we can have for creating different different cases so that uh, customers get good service and uh, customers don't need salesforce license for that so that's something uh, which i showed you that day because if customer if uh, let's say if the client or whoever is the product company they are uh, a medium scale or a small scale industry then they won't buy uh, many li platform licenses for those uh, customers instead they will create a google site or any other site which they can integrate with salesforce even they can create a dot net platform and then uh, from there web to case can be easily generated and uh, same goes for email to case uh, for higher priority customers they provide some email channels uh, where they can send an email uh, like if there is something related to guarantee or warranty then email to case is the better scenario so this all comes into the cre uh, case creation part now today we'll move one step further to the case management part okay ranga yeah sure okay so when i say case management it starts with first thing whenever the case comes where it should be assigned so that's the case assignment rule after case assignment rule or even before case assignment rule we can have auto response rules then we can even have case comment triggers and case merge if there are some duplicate cases where we want to merge some similar kind of cases depending on some same criteria so today we'll discuss all the automations which we have in case management rule even the escalation rule i'll try to cover it today uh, this is also something very important <clears throat> when it comes to uh, bad kind of service provided by some service agent not taking their concerns seriously or not understanding then the escalation rules comes handy and customers can escalate the case or ask them to escalate it and then it will go to tier 2 or tier 3 agents who can uh, who are more experienced they can handle the cases so this is something which we'll discuss later so today we'll start with the case management part and that is let's start with the case assignment tool okay let's say
doing it. We do not go into detail for this chair. Cannot enable okay. and closed. So right now we have status close only. So here we also have option delete duplicate cases after merge. If we do this, then the, the end user need to have delete permission or else means modify all or else they won't be able to do. So it is recommended to keep duplicate cases after merge so that we can or the managers can explore the data. So what happens there is when you open two cases and if you want to merge them, it will ask which all fields you want to merge. Then we'll go to process automation setting. Myself here. So you can also read about entitlement setting. Entitlement management uh, allows you to keep any, uh, let's say you can <coughs> see here, entitlement management will help you to provide the correct service level to a customer. It includes a variety of features uh, that let you, let you model and enforce service level agreements. Now let's say uh, there are two kind of uh, end users you have one is for guarantee and one is for warranty so now what you will do you will uh, create two entitlement process guarantee and warranty now in guarantee you will keep uh, sla which is the service uh, level agreement you will set the sla for four hours or two hours because that will be the highest priority for guarantee for guarantee, you have to review the product immediately so that you will take that product back and you will replace it. But in warranty, you can keep your SLA service level agreement for 48 hours, which is for two days. So that <clears throat> the service agent can review whether uh, these terms and conditions are covered in warranty or not. And then they can provide the assistance to the end user. So the, that is where entitlement is used. So now you can also see there are different different checkboxes here. Uh, first, we have enabled the entitlement management. Then it is say, saying to keep things simple, we must limit changes you make to entitlement process once it's activated. So if you enable entitlement versioning, then this this uh, this will not do anything here in our org, but in in the uh, org where customer have let's say more than ten entitlements, their entitlement versioning is very important. And depending on the versioning, you can uh, assign a default entitlement to any kind of case. So this is something. Uh, which you can read about. Yeah, yeah, Raga, go ahead. You have some doubt? 
No, no questions. Okay, okay. So then comes entitlement related lookup filters on case fields. Now, here, uh, what you can do is let's say if uh, there, there are some fields in entitlement uh, in, in related list of case, if you'll go there, it will show entitlement, and there you will have some uh, lookup fields there where you can use same account as case same contact as on the case so we mostly use this and active entitlements on case account so whichever entitlement is active currently that will be used and active entitlement on the on the case contact as well so let's say these two things are not needed we don't have that much data here so we'll just enable active status and same account on the case here we are not putting assets assets are the if we have vessels or if we have some uh, list of products then it's good to enable asset right now we don't have product so we will not enable it milestone feed item this uh, this will show uh, on the right hand side how many times the clock it can show the clock like how many time is needed to complete the milestone show the time remaining in actual hours not business hours drop time and actual elapsed time i will save this So this is something which will take a lot of time for me to configure Raya. So what I'll do is uh, give me today's time. I'll configure all the settings and tomorrow I'll show you with a live example, like how we can have all these things together. How does that sound for you? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Then uh, what we'll do, the, this all things which I have showed you to, uh, today till now, this all comes into the case management part. So this, uh, this thing is completely uh, different than the case creation. After the case is created, how you are going to manage it, this settings define it. So this is uh, this is something which we'll explore more tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, a complete one hour will go on this case management. So right now, I'll start. I'll proceed with another topic, that is community. So that once our community is ready, then we can do many things from there. We can also check many things from there. So it is enabled now, and now that I'll do, I'll create a community. So if we have full dev org, then we can create up to 200 communities, but in uh, sandbox or the dev org we can only create up to 100 communities so now i am trying to create a new community so i'll show you uh, i just clicked on new community and then it took me to this page by default okay now here you will see different different kinds of template now it will ask you uh, to choose anyone whichever you like so we have customer service so we'll proceed with customer service because we want to basically focus on service cloud so we'll choose this template and here it, it will show you it will give access to articles qa and all the cases and 
it can use group discussion and topics to collaborate and uh, we can <clears throat> customize it using lightning builder uh, or the uh, uh, default community builder so now i'll click here on get started and we'll clear, create our first This will be my domain name, URL, and I'll click here on create. Have you ever created community before? Uh, no, no, not yet. Okay. This is something very good uh, to explore. Even okay. we have project examples in uh, training also for this. Okay. Now this will be our welcome page where we can use anything. Welcome to our first community. components see what happens after we open it. Thank you. 
show the leads here and uh, below it has the dashboard here we can use any dashboard which you need Okay, so this dashboard we will use, it will be helpful. I'll take this up. Now dashboard is up and feeds are below. Now if you we want to see we can click on preview. We'll show how it will look when any end user opens the community. Show this dashboard here and then it will show the activity feed here. Now we'll be also configuring one live agent chatbot here from where uh, I show you what will happen whenever a uh, end user comes and click on hi I have some query it can directly create a case how we'll be achieving it I'll show you today only okay let's see <coughs> Where we can have global actions to account, but we don't want. These are the global public actions we have. So, what I'll do, I'll create a global action first in our Salesforce. And from there, we can have that action in our community. This topic is vast, I know, and uh, this will need. Uh, your practice as well because if I teach you today maybe tomorrow or after three four days if you don't practice you will be completely lost so uh, today I'll sh I'll be showing you how uh, we configure community and tomorrow we'll try this again together I'll be observing you when you'll be doing it so that you have some experience on uh, on this community and life okay, okay sure a new record target object will be case record type will use master and standard label will be new record
Think what all fields will be needed for action new case contact name status subject and description that's it if we want something else we can add that as well like case reason okay now i will say it. remember this five fields contact name status subject description and case reason. let's say end user won't be knowing about the contact name so he, he can remove it he just need to add status high priority or not subject description and case reason. <coughs> this is the publisher layout uh, this is created I'll have to refresh this page. So right now it is publishing my uh, community on the live domain. Let's wait. Okay. Yeah. Fast login. <clears throat> so now I'll go back to Builder. Let's see if we have our Google action here now. Baba, can you hear me? So I'll add component again. It is refreshed. still not getting case here i think i'll have to refresh this uh, let me just close this and we'll try it once again this Thank you. 
So this is our community, which is open now. I'll open the builder again. <clears throat> now it will be refreshed completely. Add few components there. Yeah, now you can see Raga, we have our publisher, global publisher here, global action, new case. Yeah. Because that was not refreshed, it was not allowed. So now we have new case button, we have added it. Now I save it. So, now this is how it will show. If you we'll click on new, it will take to that new case page. Click on confirm. Then this four fields: status, subject, description, and reason. That's it. So we have only status closed available now, which can be opened by the service agent. We can check it. Let's see how it will look. So now this is the case, case number 20534. It is showing all the details here and it is created by web. So customer will also see this and here, let's go back. Do you remember what uh, we wrote in description and uh, subject? I forgot. I think it should be in closed status if you can start. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yes, sir. You're right. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So now we'll check why it came in closed status. Here, can we see more statuses? Yeah, no, only closed is active. So, we'll go to this object. Close is default defined here, and <clears throat> this value is on hold, activate on hold. Maybe the record type doesn't have it. Hmm? Record type used is the draft. 
I think we need to check the record type if they are controlling the pick list values. Correct, yeah. Status. I think it's a draft one. Draft, right? Yeah, draft. <clears throat> status. Okay, status is not here. Okay, this is managed. I have installed some managed package, so it's coming from there. So instead of draft, we'll use in progress. I hope this is this is also coming from managed package. Let me create a new one. Uh, here it will ask support process so we'll have our default case support This reason is there. I don't see status. Status also coming from managed package. I don't Maybe I'll have to add new values. Well, this process first will be on hold by customer. Still, I don't see pick list available for editing. Status is not coming here. I'm not understanding. Can you uh, can you understand, Raga, why this is happening? No idea. Maybe because of that managed package, this thing has completely for toss my default setup. Maybe yeah. we can try and install it if it is not in use. Manage mm -hmm. package. Then we, can. we can, if manage package is not in use, we can uninstall and try with uh, pressure. Yeah, I can uh, try that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We had more settings there. <clears throat> so I have to review that before uh, uninstalling, and then I'll be definitely doing it. But uh, this status is a, uh, one of the standard field on case, uh, isn't it? 
This I'll check for this one. Status test. Yeah, maybe some some issue with that. No problem. We'll go back to community. I'll check this one later. What's going on with status? <clears throat> so we'll go back here. So now you can see uh, cases created, and this is the case feed which we have for the end user now. <clears throat> so again, if he goes back to a home page. Now I'll go back to builder and show you some more components. So for live agent now I'll have to configure <clears throat> one more thing from there. So you can see <clears throat> chat capacity is always meant uh, managed by Omni channel. In Omni channel setting, we have skill based routing and also we can define the capacity. So that uh, customer is not bur uh, burdened by many number of cases. Like uh, if, if you are the live agent and you get two to three queries uh, in one hour, then it will show you inactive after some time instead of showing active. So now I'll also enable sneak peek. Sneak peek is for agents to see what visitors are typing before they send the messages. And sound is enabled. Disconnect sound enabled. Notification will be enabled. Customer agent name. So put up in G here. Support. Pay the light here. We can also merge some fields here, like visitor name. Decline. Like if you decline some chat, then it will show you are not live. You you are away. Auto away on push timeout. Like let's say if someone has pinged you and you are not replying for 30 seconds, then you can have timeout. Wait alert time. This is also you can enable. I'll put uh, 10 seconds here. Yes. 
visitor blocking enabled we can also block some visitor who are coming and spamming for no reason file transfer if we enable file transfer then on chat only we can they can also attach the claim uh, fields on chat itself but uh, it is always recommended not to burden the chat uh, chatbot by the files so it's better to not enable this and after the case is created in the console then we can ask customer to provide the uh, file through email or uh, you can also attach to the uh, another environments which we have but it's not recommended to use file transfer on the uh, live agent configuration now select the chat users for con okay and will not add anyone here do not add any profile or say that's not needed and now we have not created skills also but we can create skills and depending on skills routing can also happen default agent status filter will be online it's need to be enabled okay we don't need all this chat conferencing this can also be enabled like sometimes the agent doesn't have all the information that required to solve customer's problem chat conferencing lets your agents invite other agents into customer chat unlike transferring the chat to new agent you can try this so skills okay it's good to go now so we have configured agent but now we need that component so how we will have that component that is something which we can see later but uh, let's see if by default we get it mostly we get it by default only chat please chat with the next part okay this is whatever we can write chat with chat with available agent agent offline Thank 
Okay, this context of what is different. Okay, we'll have to deploy the chat and then it will it will be available i guess <clears throat> no problem i'll do this then we can check later so it won't show now so, so from there you can enter the message Kiranga, so what is remaining now is uh, I'll have to enable that chat configuration is in test. This is enabled and secure agents.
Hey Ranga, I'll be doing this. Tomorrow we'll continue with the live agent and I'll give you the overall view what will happen tomorrow so that uh, you're clear. One will have one agent here. Uh, okay. Here you have the status whether you are available or not in the Salesforce service console. So okay. when you set your status here, you are available in green. Then by default, the community will get green and it will show here. OK, one agent is uh, online. And then we'll be able to chat with him. And the, the moment you start chatting with him, a case will be created by default and a contact will be created. So that is something which we'll see tomorrow. Uh, I'll go through that settings again uh, and I'll also uninstall some managed packages from my demo org, which is causing some problems and then we can uh, easily proceed with that. But uh, before before that, uh, what I would like is Ranga, if you can create a community page the same way which we have done, I'll share the uh, meeting this uh, recorded screen meeting with you today's session. So you can go through the entire session today and you can build a community with the same template which I have used and uh, make the home page as good uh, as you want. Whatever you want to customize, do it depending on you, whatever you want to add. Add some, uh, all. you can try many, many combinations of components and if you'll have some doubts, you can write, uh, make a note of it like what why this component is not working and why, why this components we can add on the community if you have some doubts like that so tomorrow we'll start from there uh, and we'll not start with this community we'll configure this on your community page okay okay we sure. have created your profile with the system admin access so you'll be able to hit this community page also and you'll be able to create new community page also yeah so leave, leave this page as it is you can configure a new community and you can try some very various things there i'll also give you some important links of trailhead which you can go through uh, if you get time today okay okay sure Nika. sure sure Anna. so one question so, this community will be used by guest users or uh, maybe the customers or it will be with uh, support agents the community will be used by customers not support agents support agents will oh, be there okay. on the sales for service console oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah some confusion. once the customer comes there like uh, in our case what i'll do is i'll ask you to log into that community and you'll start chatting with me and then I'll be behaving as a service agent tomorrow. So here okay. I'll, yeah, it will take some time because even if we have to configure it, it will take some time. So I want you to be with me uh, on the same page. That's why I'm asking you to create a community on your own so that at least you are cleared with the basic concepts like how to create community. If you have this knowledge of community and live agent, uh, you will be very much easily able to crack the certification of service cloud because maximum weightage comes from community and live agent and it has a vast number of areas which we can discuss. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ranga, no problem. So today we have faced some problem with the demo. Work. What I will be doing is I will configure a new demo org or I will remove those uh, uh, managed packages from this org which is causing this problem here and then we can resume tomorrow with your community page okay sure okay Ranga, no problem i'll stop here yeah okay sure